Angles high. Angle zero. Yeah. That'll put you at 1,220 meters. That's Darby's record plus 60. And Darby's about to eat it. What's my dial? Dial 18 mils, one click. Wind? Nine o'clock, three miles per hour. Dial left, 1.2 mils. All right. Package waiting. Send it. Jesus! You see Darby tell him to get his ass back to target practice? You know, Queen just got crowned. Okay, progress report. I've spoken to several other agents about the division's betrayal. This wasn't easy given our cell structure. I only knew the agents in my cell. One was supportive, two were not. Every war has casualties, as I've been reminded. But the one led to others, 
I'm encouraged. Obviously, not everyone will be persuadable, but a one in three success rate is more than expected. I also received an unexpected connection to Colonel Charles Bliss of the Last Man Battalion. I'm told his might be a friendly ear. I look forward to bending it. What are you waiting for? Everything's for sale.
That's all besides the point. Cause the real problem was those treatment centers. They failed. Everybody died. The patients, the doctors, the nurses. The poor sons of bitches dumping bodies into the mass graves they had to dig in Central Park. Everyone. People dying on the inside, people shooting at us on the outside. When they finally told us to pull out, it was a blessing. But now, all that's behind barbed wire. Yeah. That's where your dark zone came from. And the things I've seen, I don't care how much you offer it. I'm never going back in. Results of relying on the Joint Task Force right here in the middle of Manhattan. That's what they're calling the Dark Zone. That's a melodramatic way of saying it's a region of complete lawlessness. No surveillance and total lack of ability to enforce control. That is something you cannot have on your watch. Sir, I thought the purpose was to evacuate. And how did that work out? Sure, they got the people out, but what did they let back in? And all the equipment and hardware they left behind? We're talking amateurs here in charge of public safety in one of the biggest cities in the country. Yes, sir. The point is, this just proves that our operations are more efficient. Methodical expansion, civilian processing, enhanced interrogation. We're working at twice the efficiency with half the manpower. The fact that the JTF failed miserably with the Dark Zone is the same reason this city needs the last man battalion. Sure, this place is empty? We've scoped it out. If we're gonna do this, we need to do it now before someone else beats us to it. In and out before sunrise. Just like we planned. Just like we planned. I really appreciate the help. Shit. Wish I could have seen this place before it all happened. Hey, I was clear.
This is Eva Acosta, urban spelunker extraordinaire. New York has been cordoned off by the government, and I am in the most exclusive club in the world, Manhattan. Thomas and Blanca got their asses cut by the JTF. Not me. But then they don't have my mad parkour skills. I'm exploring the city and reporting what I see, taking nothing but photos and leaving nothing but footprints, and maybe the occasional audio recording, so people know where I've been and the incredible things I've seen here. The adventure begins. You gotta see it to believe it. We can turn this damn scene no, sure off. Any money? Huh? What kind of watch is that? I've had an idea, and it's a good one. Let's think about the virus. What do we know? That it's similar to smallpox. Not smallpox, but similar. Which means it's a designated variation. Smallpox is the base on which a designer made alterations. Now, live smallpox exists in only two places, DCD and Russia. The base virus had to come from one of them. DCD? I would have heard if their security had been breached. So, Russia. Now let's think about the designer. Are there virologists with connections to both New York and Russia? In fact, there are two. One's Russian, one's American. A little research tells
emailed me both for New York on Black Friday. Thank you, Shade Tech. We rigged the damn thing. Well, wide open. Eva Acosta, Urban Spelunker. Day three. Yesterday some asshole shot at me. Soldiers. National Guard, maybe. I don't know who they thought I was. Anyway, I'm in Midtown today, not far from the Empire State Building, in front of Abel's department store. My papa used to bring me here when I was little to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. There's a parade today, but I don't like the looks of it. Guys wearing gas masks and big tanks on their back are leading a group of people into a circle. Some of them are crying. I'm afraid to get any closer because I don't know what they're doing. Maybe I should take some pictures. Oh my god. They're burning them. Oh my god.
What does it say? It says a lot of things, but the part that matters is this. Certain people are now authorized to do whatever the hell it takes to clean up the big messes. Nuclear, biological, chemical attacks, pandemics, giant monsters, that sort of thing. As you might have guessed, their current situation qualifies. They're called the Division, and they're being activated as we speak. How do you know who they are? Look for those damn orange circles. You see the glow, then you'll know. Think about it, Vicky. I survived the car crash. I survived the fire at Mike's place. I survived the dog flu. What if it wasn't because I'm lucky, but because they couldn't hurt me at all? Come on, David. What do you think you are? Some kind of Superman? No, I can't fly. Or maybe I can.